Poor soil, no soil, or do you have a hard time bending down? If any of these sound familiar, then straw bale gardening is a fantastic gardening alternative. Straw bale gardening uses decomposting straw bales instead of soil to grow vegetables. It's similar in concept to raised bed gardening with a much cheaper price tag. These tips will help you set up and garden successfully using straw bales. 1. Use straw bales. Bales come in two varieties, straw and hay. Straw is the byproduct of the grain industry and contains only hollowed out stems of plants such as wheat, barley, and oats. Hay bales often contain a variety of dried grasses and many seeds. Hay bales are usually cheaper but will become weedy and break down too quickly. Bales can be purchased at some garden centers or sourced directly from farmers. They are more available for purchase in the fall after grain harvest. 2. Position bales. Lay a couple of layers of newspaper or weed block fabric under the area you plan on putting your bales to prevent weeds from coming up from the ground. Bales can be placed on your concrete driveway, on top of your existing garden soil, or anywhere else you'd like to garden. 3. Twine. Bales are held together with two to three strands of baling twine, keeping the bale in its telltale rectangular shape. Make sure the twine is not severed, as it will allow the bale to fall apart. Bales should be laid on their sides, with the narrow side up, so twine is parallel to the ground. 4. Planting. Water the bales heavily for a few days prior to planting. You need some well-rotted compost to start your plants in. You don't need a lot, but just enough to fill the holes you make in the bales for planting the seedlings. A pound of compost for each planting hole is more than sufficient, but some gardeners use a layer of compost on the entire surface of the bale bed. You can plant either seeds or seedlings. Many gardeners prefer to seed their straw bales because the root systems get a better chance at spreading extensively into the straw bed. Straw bales provide good insulation, and the slowly decomposing straw bales keep the roots warm. 5. Fertilizers The straw bales may provide a steady supply of nutrients to the plants as they slowly decompose, but it may not be sufficient to support a large number of plants. You can use any type of fertilizer as you would normally use in regular gardening. Overuse should be avoided, though. Almost any type of fruits and veggies that you raise annually can be planted, but it may not be a bad idea to avoid large plants, like corn or big spreading pumpkins. A good gardener wastes nothing. Straw bales after a season's crop may not be suitable for another season, especially in places where warmer temperatures and rainfall break the bales down at a faster rate. The straw can be used as mulch elsewhere in the garden. There are still plenty of nutrients in the spent straw, so you can add it to the compost pile for complete breakdown. Now if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe for more videos.